Hey guys, it's Kritika. Today we're gonna make a chia pudding that is packed with omega-3s. Really important note, be careful with chia pudding because if you're not used to eating lots of fiber and you start introducing this into your diet, if you do too much too quickly, it can cause constipation or just unpleasant GI side effects. So be careful, go slow, drink lots of water and make sure you stay active so that you can help with your digestion. So of course you will need some chia seeds, some type of unsweetened yogurt. I'm using this cashew milk yogurt, but you can use whatever yogurt you want. For toppings, you'll need some granola. I actually made this one myself. You'll also need some fruit for some extra texture, vitamin C, antioxidants, so healthy. I'm also using a pea protein type of milk, but use whatever you want and some vanilla extract. Truly, this recipe could not be any easier. You just take equal parts yogurt to milk. I'm using half a cup, and this ends up making almost two portions for me. Then throw in your chia seeds, but be careful. If you're not used to eating lots of fiber, I would only start with one or two tablespoons. I'm using a fourth of a cup because I'm used to all that fiber. But if you're not, please start with one tablespoon. Now throw in that vanilla extract and mix it up. This is optional. I like to sometimes add a little bit of sweetness with some Splenda, but you can use whatever you want. I know you guys are always concerned about when I use knives, but trust me, you will never see me have an accident on camera because I always edit it out. So we're gonna let that set in the fridge overnight. It's been about 13 hours. It is the next day. Let's try this chia pudding. I don't think I'm gonna finish all this. The blueberry one is also here, but I'm gonna save this one because tomorrow's Monday and this is gonna be my breakfast. And I actually need to make a couple more because I'm gonna be eating this all throughout the work week because it's so easy to just grab and go. The granola is a must. It's just that store-bought granola tends to have uh, quite a bit of added sugar. That's why I like to make mine at home because it's so easy. It's just a few ingredients. All of the fiber and anti-inflammatory properties of the omega-3s are just so healthy to have in your diet. It's so perfect. I honestly don't even miss regular yogurt because this texture comes really close, especially when refrigerated overnight. Such a healthy, nutritious breakfast to meal prep. And it's so easy. You saw me, it just took a couple of minutes. YouTube thinks you might like this video next, but for more recipes that I make, check out this playlist.